Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And guys, what we're going to talk about right now is Jon Stewart. He ventured out into the world to make fun of Elon Musk for daring to say that the Second Amendment protects the first. He says, no way. And I cannot wait to show you what he said as his reasoning to support that point. We're going to blow it out of the water and provide the proper context to pass this on to every single person that you know, because it does offer an amazing instructional moment for gun controllers and gun rights advocates alike. Everything will be linked in the description box below. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. And of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on if you want to spread freedom from one coast to the other, from border to border. Take that opportunity and please do just that and share with someone that you love and care about. And speaking of opportunity, guys, I know a lot of you like to upgrade and modify your own guns, so why not make it a career? Do something you actually enjoy to make money. SDI, these guys right here, they have online courses that you can do from the comfort of your own home. They have everything from ballistics to woodworking to shooting sports management to drones to finishes, anything that you can imagine. And you can actually turn a hobby that you love into a job you can make money at from the comfort of your own home. Check them out. They're in the description box below. And thank you to them for making this content possible. And as always, I have to say it, guys, watch out for the algorithm monster. He's out prowling again, so make sure he has not unsubscribed you and devoured your prescription for freedom on the 2A side, because he's been doing it. So just make sure you're still good. Enough of him. No one likes him. Let's go to the party with Jon Stewart. All right. So as we get into this, understand, he, he tries to deliver this tongue-in-cheek, but he does it in an incorrect fashion on actual substance okay listen to this and we're just going to correct it as we go because this is a golden opportunity check this out but at least the constitution remains intact and is there to ensure that we have the first amendment the second amendment is there to ensure that we have the first amendment <laughs> Guns don't protect our free speech. Our free speech is protected by the consent of the governed laid out through the Constitution. It's, it's not based on the threat of violence. Hold the phone. All right, again, I'm going to stop this as we go. The Second Amendment absolutely protects the First Amendment because our government is a government by the consent of the governed. And here's where it goes real wrong because the left, and particularly in this case, Jon Stewart, he does not take the next step to say, what if the government with all the guns doesn't listen to your consent that you've given? That kind of blows away the entire argument. We have a system built on the consent of the governed, all sorts of ways to lay out our grievances. Correct. What happens if the government, the, the entity with the guns goes, bump your consent, we're going to do what we want. What then? If your consent means crap, guess you're just out of luck. That's the point they don't get. It really is that simple. I say every day on this channel, multiple times, we are passing the blessing of the Second Amendment on to the next generation for the freedom that we have to them. That's because the Second Amendment is a protected right in the Bill of Rights. It's number two. It does protect the first. Not directly. You don't walk around with a gun and go, hear me roar. What it does mean is I'm going to say what I'm going to say through my free speech. And then if the government doesn't um, adhere to the consent of the governed, then we have a backup plan. That's the whole idea. But anyway, let's continue. Based on elections organizing referendums, a judicial system. Our social contract offers many, many avenues to remedy these issues and allows sides to be heard and adjudicated. Guns, from what I can tell, seem to mostly protect the speech of the people holding the gun. It and right now, I'm going to hit another one. Remember this quote. This is a quote from Mao. Power comes from the barrel of the gun. The person holding the gun holds all the power. That's not a mystery. That's not a surprise. That's human nature. Now, here's the real big problem with what John is laying down. And I genuinely, I like the way John delivers things. I don't agree with his politics, but he is funny. However, he does not seem to understand what if it goes wrong. That's where this entire argument falls apart for him. The Second Amendment advocates, Elon Musk in this case, Donald Trump, the Second Amendment advocates in the crowd, they aren't sitting there with their guns and saying, you're going to hear my free speech or I have a Second Amendment. What they're saying, again, to reiterate the point, is I have a First Amendment. I have all of these ways to adjudicate my issues. I have all these court systems. I have these elections. I have all of these ways. 
But if the government steps too far on the rights of the people, the people have a, not only an obligation, but a duty to preserve freedom. And guess how you do that? With the Second Amendment. It is there to prevent tyranny, both foreign and domestic. That's the entire point. The left does not seem to understand that a government would do what governments have done all throughout time. This is not something that has never happened. Every single major um, area in the world where there has been mass executions of people by their own governments is a pretty good testament to that point. 20th century alone, 100 million dead. The point is not, you hold a gun, you get to hear what I say. The point is, you hear what I say, don't step on my rights, you stepped on our rights, well now we're in a rebellion. That's the whole point. But anyway, let's keep going. Tool of intimidation. And if I may finish, listen to the f Okay. I'm not done. It is a tool of intimidation and one that I think is actually being irresponsibly and recklessly invoked. Because some people in your crowd thought they might have been shadow banned by Facebook. I mean, for God's sakes. Okay, first of all, there was no think you got shadow banned by Facebook. I mean, I, as a guy who, you know, lives on the internet, you know, all the time, I can guarantee you there was censorship occurring. <laughs> just want to throw that out there. Just, just say, let's get going. You guys are in Butler, Pennsylvania. The whole reason you're there is because some King asshole with an AR-15 tried to permanently litigate his vision of this country's free speech. That's why you're there. The whole point of a society is guns don't decide it. I would prefer at this moment not to trade in a government that offers me many remedies for my concerns, legitimate or illegitimate, for a situation where my rights are determined by how many militia members agree with me. The country ain't perfect. Oops. All right. And so this is where I want to wrap this up, because again, this is the fallacy of this argument. The argument is, if there's a militia, then they have the power, so therefore they have the guns, therefore they have the speech. That's not at all ever what has been said. The entire point of the Second Amendment is to fight back tyranny should your rights be completely trampled by a government that does not adhere to the consent of the governed. This is a very big, important point, and I hope this lands with some people. I hope it lands with everybody. The whole point is... The gun is the ultimate fallback. Yeah, it's a tool of intimidation, 100%. That's why when the people are an armed population, the government will not go too far. All you have to do, again, to revisit what I've already covered, all you got to do in history is go right back to where people didn't have guns, and you look at what happens when the government is not intimidated. No one is calling for open rebellion. No one's calling for free speech only for those with guns. The point of the Second Amendment is literally to guarantee free speech for all to keep the government completely in check so it does not trample the rights of everybody in the consent of the govern model. Really important. I hope I landed this plane. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you on the next one.